Manchester City's transfer strategy has been portrayed as a scattergun approach, fire enough money at the market and you will end up with some good players. But the planning has been in place right from the start, and has been more focused and efficient in the last six years, since the Blues started plotting for the Pep Guardiola era. Manuel Pellegrini played a big role in the transition from the tempestuous reign of Roberto Mancini, and the building of Guardiola's team, from the foundations provided by Vincent Company, David Silva, and Sergio Aguero, began in his three years at the club. The heartbeat of today's team was established then, some of it with the tacit stamp of approval from Guardiola itself. Fernand Dinhall, Kevin De Bruyne, Raheem Sterling, Fabian Delph, and Nicolas Otamendi all arrived under his stewardship, and they form a big part of today's squad. But what about the rest of Pellegrini's signings? What happened to them? City splashed out around £100 million in Pellegrini's first summer, with Fernand Dinho the only enduring signing. But the one that attracted most attention was the capture of Steven Juptic for £22 million from Fiorentina, The Montenegro forward had his moments, and a lot of injury troubles, but left without making much of a mark. He signed for Inter Milan after a loan spell there, and after another loan at Sevilla he is now at Monaco, where he replaced Kylie Mbappe. Predictably, he is currently out with knee ligament trouble. Alvaro Nigrita did make a big impact, scoring goals for fun in a great partnership with Aguero before his city career fizzled out and he was sold to Valencia. The Beast is at Dubai based LNASR, where he has scored 14 goals in 18 games. Winner Jesus Navas split opinions after his £15 million move to City but he is a World Cup winner and has two UEFA Cup medals to go with his City League title, not Pat. He returned to hometown club Sevilla, where he is still a regular. The part experienced Martin de Michel is played in getting City over the line in 2014 is underestimated but he left in 2016 for brief spells at Espanyol in Malaga, before retiring in 2017 and joining the Malaga coaching staff. Wilfried Boney was one of those city signings best forgotten, despite it costing £27 million from Swansea. After two unhappy seasons he had a loan spell at Stoke and joined Swansea again last season, and is now on loan at Al Arabi in Qatar, still picking up £100,000 a week from the Swans. Not far behind Boney in the flop stakes is Ali Aquim Mangala, whose recent new city deal looks like a means of ensuring they get a fee for him in the summer. The £42 million man is available to Pep Guardiola but has yet to figure in a matchday squad this season. Fernando looked like a useful defensive midfield acquisition for a short while but the octopus turned out to be a damp squid. He left for Galatasaray two years ago and helped them to TH Turkish Leap title last season. Argentina keeper Willy Caballero will always be remembered for his League Cup final penalty shootout heroics against Liverpool, 
and as the victim of Chelsea teammate Kane Pa's refusal to be subbed in this year's final as the Londoners were beaten by City. The only Mark Bruno Zucculanite, below, has made for City is to be at the centre of claims of third-party ownership by football leaks. He played as a sub in the 2014 Community Shield, but after six unsuccessful loan spells in a season at Hellas Verona, he is now 25 and with River Plate in his native Argentina. No need to introduce Frank Lampard, Chelsea legend and now Derby County manager. Then there was Bakary Sagna, surprisingly without a club for eight months after leaving City. After six months with Benevento and Serie A, he is now with MLS outfit Montreal Impact. The arrival of Patrick Roberts caused some excitement, but his biggest moment at City was his goal against the Blues while on loan at Celtic. Now the only English player in La Liga, Roberts' has loan at City's sister club Girona has been wrecked by injury, but he helped them bat Barcelona in the Catalan Super Cup recently. City sold Turkish youngster NS Unal to Villarreal for £12 million despite him never playing for the first team, but he has since been loaned out to Levant in real valid a live. Florian Lejeune was a City football group signing who never stayed in Manchester, he was loaned back to Girona before joining Ibar and is now a regular at Newcastle. Another CFG man was Ruben Sobreno, who had loans at Girona and Al Abzan impressed enough at the latter to land a move to Valencia. Luke Bratton joined Bolton on loan on the day he joined City but never played a game for them. Has spent the last three seasons on loan at sister club Melbourne City. The fans loved Kaleki Hayonak show, not least for his FA Cup hat-trick at Aston Villa, but a £5 million offer from Leicester was too good to resist. It has not gone well, he has not scored for six months and has now been dropped by Nigeria.